Hi, we're the Verhu family. This is my mom, Tina, my dad, James, my brother, Caden, and my brother, Declan, and I'm Avery. I'm AC, and I'm Whiskid. I'm Madeline, I'm the Whiskid. Well, in May, um, our twins both got very sick, just a random illness. Um, they had a fever, they weren't feeling very well, and um, suddenly one day I was pushing them in a swing and I noticed that both of their heads like weren't compensating for the movement. They were kind of flopping around. They were almost three at this point, and so I took them to the emergency room. They were taken immediately, both of them, to Blank Children's Hospital, and they spent two weeks there, um, a full week in the PICU, and um, we didn't really have any answers as to why they were sick, and it was very strange that both of them were sick. We knew they were identical twins, of course, but for them both to be sick with the exact same thing, they lost all control of their muscles. They just laid perfectly still. The only thing they could move was their eyes for that amount of time, so it was very, very scary. And to have professionals not know what's going on is, is really dumb. You want to be there to fix it. As a dad, you want to be there to fix it, and I couldn't be there to fix it. I just had to let that take, take it, its course. So They started taking them out to physical therapy and they, they literally kind of put them in walkers and just got them vertical and so they weren't laying down all the time. And they just started stretching out their legs and trying to get them to walk. They made a fairly quick recovery and they literally, I think they ended up walking out of there even without walkers. So it was a fairly fast recovery once the virus had made its way through the body and they got rid of the virus, which stopped uh, the muscle weakness. So. They started you know, being able to walk with the walker at about 14 days into their hospital stay. Um, and they were going on three years old, so they'd been walking for a while. Um, but they, yeah, with the help of physical therapy, they started moving again. And then um, on July 8th, which was actually their third birthday, we had been out camping and we drove home and we saw a lot of smoke in the distance. We live in the country, and we both kind of looked at each other like, um, that seems really close to our house. And when we, when we crested the hill by our house, we could see that our house was on fire. The house was a total loss. Um, the fire department came and they were great, but there was just not a lot they could do. So that was their third birthday. That's how we celebrated. Um, and then that was on Sunday and on Friday we actually got the call that their sickness was due to muscular dystrophy. So probably the worst week of our lives. It was difficult, you know, you want to be there for all of your kids at the same time and it's just impossible when you have two that need so much care. Um, and our, our others were young too, it's their, we have a younger family and so we did the best that we could. and. We decided to contact Make-A-Wish just to see kind of what our options were to see if they would even qualify because we weren't sure. And they said, yeah, they, they would most definitely qualify. They checked with our doctors and because it's progressive muscle weakness and it will be a, a lifelong degenerative thing, um, they said, yeah, you definitely qualify. Our girls loved the princesses, and especially Anna and Elsa, they were very excited about that. I wanted to meet Princess Elsa. Yeah. I get it to meet Princess Anna. Yeah, I'm Ariel. Mm -hmm. um, the thing I think that was that stood out the most to us was the awesome accommodations at Give Kids the World, which is where Wish families typically stay. I think that was the most phenomenal thing, and there was so much for the kids to do. There were carousel rides, there were little um, amusement park type rides, there were train rides, the pool was excellent. We ate ice cream for rough kids. That in itself was totally magical, and watching my kids just enjoy that, all of them, you know, Macy and Madeline and their brothers and sister. We went mini golfing. It was safe, it was fun, it was just very relaxing. We didn't have to be anywhere, we didn't have to rush around. That was absolutely the best part, just to kind of hang out together there as a family and do those things without having to worry about disability or time frame or anything. We could just be a family there, that was great. I like to be at Disney World with my family. My wish was a for 
I think the thing that we were both most impressed with was that when Make-A-Wish came, um, we both girls wanted to go to Disney World. That was their thing. They wanted to meet Mickey. They wanted to see Anna and Elsa. So we told the, the wish granters that came, we said, well, let's just do one wish because they both want to do the same thing and our whole family's going to go anyway. And they said, absolutely not. They're two different girls. They each get a wish. And I think that just blessed us beyond anything. I picked, I picked Octave because uh, our other one burned and I said, decided to get a new one. Macy wished, wished for a hot tub and she really wanted a hot tub because she enjoyed the one that we had uh, before the fire. <clears throat> it was very moving when the fire department wanted to come and volunteer their time and one of their trucks to come and fill the hot tub kind of as a symbol of things coming back together. Our lives getting back together after the fire. We used the fire hose to fill the hot tub. A hot tub really for kids with muscular dystrophy, they do complain about sore feet or sore legs, sore muscles a lot, and the hot tub itself is very therapeutic for it. You know, you're supposed to use a hot tub to sit and soak, but when you're six years old, you practice all kinds of tricks. So um, they have a great time in it, and they can they spend a lot of time with their siblings there, and we can spend time as a family, and it's something that really helps them to feel better. It, help, it relaxes their muscles. It's just really a nice way for them to hang out and feel better. You know, it, it helps in so many aspects. Family time, and also with their muscular dystrophy, it helps them feel better. So we love it. My favorite part is swimming in it. I love Macy's hot tub because it was hot. I think the best part about going on a trip together as a family was that, you know, there's there's really neat aspects to each trip and um, they, they just still talk about the memories. Do you remember when we did this? And then, you know, it will spark a conversation among all of them. Um, just, and you hear the most, the silly things and the things that you remember, but the things that you don't remember. I just like the conversations that come out of it now, the, the little memories they have. I love you. Oh, I love you too. Thanks, Macy. It meant a lot that we were all able to go together because it wasn't entirely stress-free when you travel with five kids, but it sure was a neat thing to be able to say we did that as a family. And without Make-A-Wish, that is something that we wouldn't be able to do as a family. So that part was just, it was phenomenal. Um, I'm so thankful for that time and those pictures and those things that we can never we could never recreate on our own and that was all um, make a wish. We know there's a very uncertain future for them. We don't know when it's going to happen. We don't know how quickly it'll develop. But it also is allowing us to enjoy when they say, "Watch me run." We can watch them run across the living. We can watch them run across the playground, and that's one of the reasons that. We, we decided to, to um, go on these trips early, um, to watch them run around, to watch them and be able to enjoy the trip while they still had their mobility. And that's probably the biggest thing for us, is we don't know really what the future is for them. Um, they know it, and they even talk about it. You mean someday when I'm going to be in a wheelchair? So they, they can understand it. To watch them run now and to know that someday they won't be able to. Um, it's just, it's a beautiful thing to see them run and to see their muscles work and they're so proud of the ways that they can jump high and show me this and we just watch. We just watch them because someday we won't be able to. Um, so we watch and we, we're thrilled for them and we're thankful for every good moment that they have and Make-A-Wish just helped us to capture all those memories of them running through the turnstiles and running to see Mickey Mouse and all those fabulous things that they could do now and we're, we're just so thankful we have those memories. Thank, Thank you, you Make Wish!